Hello there everyone and welcome back to Old World Blues, a to Z series which we're playing as the Gates of Heaven. But right now we're doing Arm Pilgrimages, which is over here. Those who journey to Heaven's Gate have often traveled miles on cannibal, across land and water, against threat of death and rumination. They've seen with the naked eye what remains of God's kingdom on earth and know every path that there is to be traveled. This knowledge, above all others, gives us an advantage in times of strife and regrettable violence. Eh, depends on the regrettableness, but cleric generals. There are few things in the rule that can motivate a man or woman to move quicker than a short hymn, for the grace of a powerful verse. The cleric generals do not only lead our armies, they guide them through what remains of the rule, ensuring that both spirit and body remain strong all the while. Steam-powered dreadnoughts. Ooh. Steam-powered armor. I think i got to go with the steam-powered armor. Power armor is at its core a remarkably inefficient system of fighting a war. Only those with access to vast stockpiles of fusion cores and similar power sources are capable of moving such monstrous units. Using our own technology, we're capable of powering these rudimentary units with an ease and swiftness usually lost to those around us. But we still have a cup of coffee here. We're at war with both the Murtaugh Reformers and the Lord's Anointed to drive them into our arms. Well, not lost too many people so far. And, of course, we have six power, six power, six research slots, so we are actually doing extremely well. Uh, we took out High Chapel, which took a little longer than I would have liked. But we did muster up and beat the snot out of them then. Ooh, another power room division. So we're doing all right. Doing all right in the end. We've got plenty of political power. Um, anything else that super happened between the end of last episode and the beginning of this one? Not really, no. Um, we're just grinding through. We've got a lot of army XP. We are trying to get as much power armor as possible. And we're trying to, of course, eventually core all the states around here, too. But that's going to take some time. And we're storing the Mountain Home Air Force Base. Made treacherous by the dropping of the bombs, the Northwest Commonwealth served as American staging ground for much of the Sino-American War, particularly for battles waged in Alaska from this. It is easy to infer that a great deal of pre-war material stashed away in the region, particularly in Mountain Home Air Force Base. Clearing the base of debris and making use of the site and its equipment should be prioritized. That'd be great. Fantastic. And we do have a couple planes here. Uh, I wish we had more, but we don't have that many. I, did, I do wish we had more, though. Uh, we have this over here. Town Defenders. That's all right. Planning speed. You know what? I'll, let's go with the planning for this campaign. Oh, hello. That's not good. Hello. 14. They do have quite a few divisions, which is kind of sucky for us. But I did put infantry over here just to uh, ruin their ability to... Oh, that's not good. Uh, wage war as well. So we're doing both sides because... Why not? We love doing both sides here. CQC C, C, training would be nice. But we're going to go this way too, because I want more daily air XP, even though it's pretty easy to get air XP once you have a decent air force. We could use more manpower, so we're probably going to go to two-year conscription, maybe? Because right now, compliance is... Eh, it's not great. And you know what? You should be already hopping out down here. That would be good. Um, it might be easier to take out the reformers, perhaps? Maybe, maybe not? Basic motors are very nice. We're going to just get as much as we possibly can done. Stonks, I love it. We're still building up our civvies. Honestly, we're looking really good. Heaven's Gate's a lot of fun. Um, every nation struggles in the beginning, at least a little bit, but overall, I highly recommend Heaven's Gate so far. I've always recommended them. That's so much fun to do. Um, I do want to fight MacArthur in the end, though, just to see what it's like between our power armor and their power armor and our planes versus their planes. We might push down to the Thunderbirds, maybe the 80s. Is New Reno by themselves? As long as New Reno's not with the NCR and the NCR does not want New Reno, I don't mind fighting them. So, we'll see a little ahead of time, but do I care? Not really, no. Mm, honestly, we could probably use the 500 manpower too. That'd probably be pretty good. Monthly population helps, but it doesn't help that, that much at all. So. 20 weekly manpower is actually pretty good too. Oh, whoops, my bad. Forgot about him. Well, just don't get lost next time. That's all I have to do. Just don't get lost. Oh, and we also need to get 100 army XP because, well, we finished our land doctrine. So, we're going to need that too. Power armor. Love it. And a new age. A oh, blessing of steam with age of steam with 20% more resource efficiency gain. 20% more max factories and 20% more construction speed. So good. The steam fusion reactors have taken us far beyond what any might have expected, allowing our military to reach heights previously thought impossible to all or by all but the greatest of nations or technophiles. The blessing of steam allowed us to become what we are, and with that blessing, we shall usher in a new age. Embassy of Christ. Oh, yes. So we can't core anything until we get there. Rebuilding airports. Scattered across the lands are ruins, are ruined stretches of flat land filled with potholes, ruined machines, and broken pavement. The ruined machines that remain in these airports are key to our efforts to rebuild the sky fleets of old. Uh, anything 
else here super important? Um, sensor technology, sure, why not? Again, building some labs, yes. Management is fine. Ah, oh, get another building slot, why not? Even though we do need to save some political power. Steam powered factories. The steam that runs from the special fusion reactors in the heart of Heaven's Gate gets from our ancestors, preserved by the will of God, is what allows us to thrive while so many others fail and fall. It's our duty to bring the steam to all within our domain for the heat and power provided by warms and people and fuels our industry. Engine innovation. It said that oil killed the war, and oil and other infinite and finite fuels and powers. Things that cannot be replaced with fusion and steel. If only the technology we use now had been perfected sooner, maybe it could have been all avoided. Regardless, we now have the means with which to improve the very vehicles that brought about the end. Let's grab it got all and get it all done, because we're going to research all of it anyways. It doesn't matter. So, these guys have how much manpower? They have up to 30 divisions. Cutter losses. 1,000 manpower left. These guys are killing themselves as well, which is fantastic. And they actually have less. We actually might be taking these guys first. I'd like to naval invade, but... We have no ships, and honestly, I don't like naval invading, so we're probably not. Um, let's see anything over here that's super important. New citizens' care package is okay. It's not fantastic. This is not bad, actually. You lose 175 caps. You lose three civvies for three months, which is not good, but get more trade income. Ooh, Legions of War, very nice. But I do like this one because it gives you three building slots, because when you're running out of places to build, it can really help out. Even though, technically, for us, it won't shouldn't really be a problem since... Uh, we focus on a lot of just conquering. So. Chosen ones. We're, oh, we're missing probably manpower. So too many comp with whatever. Increasing power. I love increasing power so much. We're looking for compliance. Not high enough yet. Um, so with that in mind, we could lose some more manpower and go here. It would give us more planning and planning speed. Starting attacking uh, starting levels of our leaders, even though we already have five generals. But it does give us plus 2% more special forces capacity, multiplier plus 20 flat minimum capacity, which is pretty good overall. Steel frame buildings, we keep working on that. Uh, 500 more flat manpower, a, little, a few more bricks. Or actually, are we... Yeah, you know what, we'll get bricks right now. We like bricks. We can throw them at enemies. Now they've stopped attacking, which is unfortunate. I don't believe that three of these divisions could take out two there. So we could death stack things here, or we could go, go down here. I'm going to keep attacking here. Power armor should be okay. So, you know what? Let's do... I usually like doing conventional warfare, but I've been slowly moving away from that land up. We've gotten down refined warfare. Let's go with... Ref, refined warfare, of course. But we're also going to go with... Asymmetric warfare? And go down the Legion route. Why not? We're a Legion of Christ, as some might call us. Are you guys doing anything? No, you're... Well, he's sort of doing things. Advanced generators, that's fine. Just research all of it, pretty much. Ah, defenses are online. Oh, more fighters, good. We could use them. Immediately, too. More political power, because why not? There's no point to not do it. Beautiful. You know what? Bait them in more. Because eventually, a Twin Falls, I would just like to beat the snot out of them. They're running out of manpower, they're running out of manpower. Good, good, good. I'm missing over here, perhaps. Just to continue baiting them in. Which would be nice. If they, yep, they start attacking again. Good. Hang out over here, why not? Good. And you over here. That's two's pretty good, so continue baiting them in. That way. What's an innocence loss incident? I don't want to use cons commands. I probably won't have to, but you never know. A, we don't really need that. Um, what do you think our focus is? Settle our people down. Which wouldn't be bad once we get literally everything done. The best travel way of life. Mm, don't know about that. This is the one we want. Organizational relations, production boost. Chop shop, don't really care about the chop shop too much. Butcher's Pete, honestly don't really need too much here either. So, you can buy some stuff I guess. Elite weapon would be pretty nice, but we can close out of that too. And we saw bottle caps community, or community economy. And oh, we're so close. Side chain attack is good. 
I have a couple of divisions here. Could we... I do want to see... Can we actually attack here and break over? Yeah, we might just be able to. There you go. Miniature circuitry is good. And this is... Uh, way too ahead of time. Way too ahead of time. And there you go. Not ahead of time. Ah. Good. Alright, so you guys can come here too. And just go in. We'll be fine. Alright. I'm not going to wait for the, uh, not War Propaganda to finish, but... I'm frustrating. About two months for this one, because it ruins our ability to just to find other people, but we'll be fine for the next couple months. Ah, oh, attack us here at Twin Falls. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Continue attacking us. Because after these guys, Thunderbirds are getting really walloped. Old Spokane State, look at that. Um, I'm not sure which way we want to go. Oh, look at that. We have a port. We'll make a single boat, never use it, and make a crap ton of convoys. The way God intended. Oh, yeah. Go there. Cutting Desert Fox. That's good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They already broke over. That's fantastic. Fan flip fantastic. But if you guys are having a pretty good day, I'm doing okay myself. So gotta wait for this one to get done over here. Should just make us even stronger and stronger and stronger. And we gotta throw some recon on the warriors. So we can actually use its benefits. There you go. Beautiful. Are you training? I uh, probably should be training right now. There you go. Have fun. There you go, that's good. Nice, 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 nice. Just don't lose your main tile. And we have it. Okay, so at this point, um, who are you? You might as well just do this. I have a solid front line. My god, is this a mess. That's so much cleaner. So much better. And daily air XP because we can. We don't need it. Never mind, they died. All right, then. There you go. There you go. Cream. Your commander, at Cannon Davis. Welcome aboard, Cannon Davis. Don't die. Still no manpower, but we didn't need it, right? Didn't need it. Keep him down. Keep him down. Delightful. A new age. Ah, MC of Christ. Well, we're dealing with why not? Our blessed nation lies within the heart of Idaho, centered around the mighty steam in Heaven's Gate, a place where the children of God can gaze upon our four states at once. It is no mistake that two Christian nations reside within the south of our holy state. Although they have strayed from the true path, God's message is clear. To the prophet. We must invite them into our home and show them the true way of God, not the false way. Absolutely not ever the false way. Six research slots, my god, I love it so much. Now it's going to be a grind trying to get through all this. Uh, oh, do we lose a port? Oh, okay, well, whatever. We have five army XP now, or naval XP, I should say. Technology, research speed, even more. Screw it, why not? We're big old techie people here. Uh, I like this one. 480 days, half a year. You get 0.2 more political power. And you get two radar stations in the end, more caps income. Why would you not do that? How dare you. I hate these bottlenecks so much, man. Help just beat the crap out of them. Beat the schnikes out of them. But you pretty much can. Honestly. You might be able to attack here. There's only one division. There's quite a few of y'all. That'd be fantastic. Oh, 
Hello. Wait, hold on now. Y'all are gonna have to be focused this way. You guys can do this. I don't care. You guys can also do this. I don't care. You guys can also do it. Everyone goes in. It is a group effort. Oh, wow. Ah, not good for all of them. Ah, finally. Good. So after this, once this is gone, hmm, May 17th, we have about, about a month left. Within a month we can take him out. We we'll probably actually go to war. Oh, well, not New Canaan. That's also another trade node. That'd be nice, but still. Ah, now the person in the defense. Very good. Anything else up here? Ante del Sol's downfall. Very nice. Resistant lenses. Very good. Yeah, go right there. You can get them off that way. Pretty easy. Well, if you can. Struggling here. Oh, we actually broke over here too. Nice. Uh, would you guys like to help out? Maybe. Maybe. Maybe not. Cool. Brick housing. I well, love bricks. So far, not bad. Could be better, but not bad. Ah, the Embassy of Christ. Mm, go ahead, jump. So now we only get 1.9. Not great, but you know, it's better than nothing. Oh, they actually signed up. Okay, so now we can take out the white legs too if we really wanted to. Go and do that, doesn't matter. We have some infantry armor, but we're not making any more. Let's go with four for now. Put you underneath. Um, you know what? That's good enough. There you go. So infantry armor, we're actually minus 52. I think it's probably slightly worse, but at least we can work on that now. Ah, fine, busted over. Fine, I thank God, Jesus. That's been taking a while to get. Done. Oh yeah. So after these guys, honestly, I might just go to War of the White Legs. Reno's huge. That would be very valuable to have. But we go to War of the White Legs and then do Reno. That might be the play. Twenty-five days, no manpower. What else is new? It's all World Blues. What do you expect? I expect better. Nah. About what you expect from Old World Blues. Oh, uh, definitely this one. Yeah, could always use more civvies. Two radar stations, nice. Um, what else do we need? Looking better. Honestly, you can start making some millies, maybe. That'd be nice. Looks more on the civvies, of course. So with all this, that's all done that we really care about up here. Uh, do that one. That one. There you go. Ah, finally. Now we're pushing here. We lost that tile, but whatever. I want you to grind more. Almost become a desert fox, which is good. What are the losses? 1,000? 1,400 versus 5,000? Yeah, that makes sense. Hit resistant lenses. More organization. Uh, you know what? Go and do that one. Because we can. Nice. The Exodus. Wasn't Lone Tree at one point a trade node? I thought it was. Cool. Well, we're all here now. So we're all going to join the party. They're all together. Beat this living snot out of them. And she'll be doing some sort of damage. It's not very much. We know. Okay, we got him finally. That took forever. Just in time to strike down south. Ah, oh, Mother Magdalene. What a woman. You 
know what? I'm gonna do this. Uh, consolidate your forces. That should be okay to do. Should be. 30% is probably the highest amount. That's not good enough. Whatever. Now we can do that. We go to war by 26th. We got the reduction, core reduction. Which I should have been working up here for this as well, but my bad. And then compliance is still not high enough, but over here, that would be really good. What is this? It's been cleansed by steam. It's been cleansed by steam. Nice. Yeah, getting a new game would be very nice. Uh, we can do that one now. We'll do both. Okay, we got one left. Well, let's save just in case, like normal, and say, screw it. Develop those by the book. Oh, they have, like no manpower. Terminal vision should be good. What, you're attacking anyways? Try it. Oh, not bad. We have no port, which sucks. Or dockyard. Sure. We're doing decently so far. Getting that trade node would be nice. Is this another trade node? No. Because after them, we take a new Reno. I'm going to take out the 80s. And continue to optimize trading for God. For Christ, remember that. Trading for Christ. Ah, do we have a trade off from him? Oh, no, we do not. That oh, sucks. Electrical extraction. Ah, yes. You guys start focusing going down to all the way, like, here. Or here. Uh, oh, are you, are you, you are Desert Fox. Awesome. Probably a two year conscription. You know, I wouldn't mind going to every cap of the army, too. Platoon training, nice. Rock control gear, yes. Are we out of infantry equipment? No, we're out of military factories. That's okay. Oh good, this is what we wanted. A nice little instrument. So that's four, six, eight divisions here. Trapped. Exactly my plan. Resource-wise, we are looking very good. We got a crap ton of energy. Love it. This is what we wanted. This is what I wanted originally. Losses. 3,000, 4,000. Stonks. Beautiful. Steam Power Factory is nice. Good. We've lost about 1,400 versus 4,300. Not bad. Because you guys should be out of manpower. Oh. You know what? I'm just going to go to this first and then we'll risk conscription again.
Yeah, the whole not having manpower thing is really starting to hurt us. <laughs> Who would have thought? Alright, let's go and hold real quick. Give the guys a slight break, because we, we need it. Just build ourselves back up. And we'll strike them again. Especially with an air base. Good. Sure. Yes. Yes. That's way too ahead of time, but whatever, I don't really care. Good. Good. There we go. Now we're going to be making a lot more now. Good. And start building up a lot of infrastructure here. That would be beautiful to build all this up. Even that little worthless tile too. Awesome. Well, we'll see what happens because I'm not, I don't remember how to get Memories of Innocence as well as a cult, Culture of War uh, to see either ones, but we'll see that when we start really defeating the White Legs. Well, there go the White Legs. They actually went to war, I think, with Kanan and Exile in the 80s, but now we're at war with Kanan and Exile. They're currently war with the crazy horns, but if we don't take them out now, I know for a fact they're going to come back and try to take their lands, like New Canaan, and we don't want them to take back New Canaan. I kind of like New Canaan. It's kind of a nice place. Even though they, there's a lot of resistance against us, but uh, the resistance will be quieted down eventually. Not super concerned, but we're focusing on decimation. And then wedge formations. Use more political power, but let's see. What can we go anything else yet? No, we're at about 77% around here in Twin Falls, which is decent. Hello, we broke through here already. Wow, that was fast. Canyon Point, not bad. Um, then 90%. There, ooh, Sons of Kaisar, oh boy. Crazy horns. Alright, well, let's see what we can take. Not much. Bro, we're taking this too. We gotta at least make sure the borders look halfway decent, so. No, we're taking Zion. Get your grubby paws off of it. No, we're taking Kanab. No, we're taking Kanab. There you go. As long as it looks decent. That's all that really matters. Um, actually... That would give us a border with a legion. Which I don't like, so we're going to do this one instead next. They have Klamath. There's a little city of New Reno. Ten days. Not a Christian pact with them. Alright. See how long that lasts. Don't have a lot of manpower. Which is literally none. But, you know, whatever. Um, are we missing anything? Fire teams and support equipment. So, fire teams, support equipment. Plans are coming along. We need more scrap, especially for our factories and whatnot. But, we'll work on it. We're working on it. Uh, more scrap and another military factory would be decent too. That'd be nice. But in the meantime, ooh, do that. Resistance is nice. Build up more stuff here. Yes, 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 yes. Look at all this new territory that we get to build infrastructure in. Lovely. Cool. Alright. Good, good, good. Um, sure. More recon for our boys. Boys in blue. I'm not sure about boys in blue, but... Of course, we need more manpower, too. Got one. Optimizer trading. We could we literally could use some more support equipment. And we're on outside of battalions. We've got these maxed out. We've got these two to do next. We get to go to war by the 26th of September. Are you freaking kidding me? Bruh. God dang, I wanted to go to war with them. Oh, the Commonwealth is not doing well either. So that sucks. Man, I wanted Reno with us. Sons of Kaisar? Um, well that's the case. I hope the NCR is not going to push for us to join them, because that would ruin our campaign, in all honesty. Let's go here. I don't mind taking out the 80s, though. The 80s aren't too bad, but god dang it. 
50 days, not bad. It should be all right overall. Well, we've taken another direction. Oh god, NCR's really doing really well. Well, oh, they did really well against the Legion, but uh, Hangdogs are taking out the Aurelius Legion, but we're going to war with the Republic of Fredonia, because why not? They're huge, they're large, they have about a thousand manpower, 57 divisions. We actually have a decent amount of manpower from coring everything, so that's why we have no manpower now. Um, other than that, uh, we're doing uh, pretty well. Find a scientist for the lab? Sh sure, why not? How about the land auction just a little bit more? It'd be fine with us. Store our Catan Electronics, a pre-war Utah-based electronics manufacturer based just east of the East Great Salt Lake. Catan Electronics face surprisingly steep competition from competitors in the area. A service provider which operated primarily as a contractor, the plant boasts the wide, widest variety of electronic components and of any corporation in the state before the bombs fell, needless to say. Were their plan to be restored to work in order, it could provide us with the opportunity to produce proper well-crafted electronic components at a far greater capacity. Awesome. Got some enlistment offices. We're doing really well. They're, oh, they're fighting these guys. Which honestly probably shouldn't be too bad for us. There's a giant hole here. Not ideal. Um... Go ahead and do that real quick. Uh, where the heck are you guys? Uh, okay, so from here on out, you guys are going to go down here. I hate all these passways, which really sucks, but it kind of makes a lot of sense with where we're at right now. You guys do that. And you guys come down here. Good luck. Don't die. Just be great. Power armor scavengers. And anything else? Help out some more settlements. Guys, we guys have some more political power to core more stuff down here. Because we're doing alright. We really are. Finally. Doing alright. Ooh, hello. That's not ideal. Here, finish them off there. Finish them off through here. Here, there's so many passways. It just, this really sucks. This really sucks. This really, really, really sucks. Cool. And... Sure. Injection, a little more range. That's good. Keep him in place. There you go. There you go. Looking pretty good. As long as we got him, we're going to use him. Um, tons of planes. Do we have the energy for it? No. Yeah, actually we might. We get the shack markets. And then... There you go. Did they cut us off here? What the heck is going on? Oh, come on. Do better than this. Oh, they're fighting the Northern Cons too. Well, that's different. Come on. Oh, another 100 arm XP. Look at that. Beautiful. And now. Now I finally MacArthur. There you go. Help him out up there. You guys should have more than enough to deal with over here. Do that. There you go. Economic research is great. of armaments, Tesla cannons, love it, grenade machine guns, just bombs in general. Good, 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 and special forces, or power armor, so much special forces. <sighs> Look at all that lag, that's ridiculous, ridiculous. Go, 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 go. Nice. Oh, and the fall black staff. Well, I got lucky this time.
So many holes. We can actually take of this. Everyone around here. Uh, we're gonna take as much as we can, though. Make it look nice too. go, they want all that, but I'm going to say no, I'm going to take all of it, yes please. Yes please, okay, we got all of them. Evans Gate's looking pretty thick, but we got to go to War of the Sky Reavers too, because, oh, we're to just find them. Beautiful. Uh, we will not be pushed around, no we will not. Because, to get Innocence Lost, we got to have a border with the NCR. That's what you need. And we lost a lot of manpower. Come on, pull here, you ding dongs. All right, so with that done, that's worth corn. Oh, it's definitely worth corn too. This not so much, but we'll do it anyways. And now we need more political power. Not ideal. So we do this. We'll go to war with New Vegas. I might call it a campaign, finish off these last couple folks too, you know. Because I've been playing this for about three hours off screen. Innocence was, true to its namesake, a peaceful town of kind souls doing what they could to survive in the wasteland. For their faith and kindness, they were butchered by uncertain and fearful pagan masses. There are few alive today who do not still weep for the lost loved one, taken aback by misery and uncertainty. In time, what will, the, what this, what will this fear become? Led by General the Oliver, huh? Oh, come on. Is there any way we can actually border the NCR? Like, bruh. Well, if they take out the hang dogs, we can do it with the crazy horns, maybe. And we're back to the manpower. Our defense is nice. And we were mobile. Oh, we were mobilizing a little bit more earlier. Pretty easy war. Pretty darn easy. Over 300 military factories. Beautiful thing. Oh. Well, I don't know if we can actually get to an eye for an eye. And the. Uh, have we forgotten the plagues? The walls of Jericho, the drowned armies of the Pharaoh, mercy goes to those who deserve it, and we can never forgive them for what they've done. Let it be known to all who remember innocence, and to all those who have heard of it. The wicked will suffer the vengeance of the faithful. Boiled alive, those pagans once butchered innocents fled for as far as their legs could take them, scattered the wind in a hundred directions. Once every few months, such a man or woman is caught and dragged back to Heaven's Gate where they were forgiven, but after being punished for their sin, baptized in boiling water so they might travel to Heaven and beg the forgiveness of those they struck down before. Learning to forgive, though. Hatred is not the way of God, nor is it intrinsic to the heart of mankind. The world has blood enough, suffered enough because men and women could not let go. We have been given a second chance in what remains of our Lord's greatest creation. So let's not taint this with the same spite that ruined it. Mercy for the wicked. Those pagans who once butchered innocents fled from us from us for decades, fearing what would happen when we caught them. Fearing the wrath of our God, yet when we found them, we offer mercy to all those who could take it, and the word of those that found mercy spread like wildfire through the land. 
In the eyes of all who look upon us, we are remembered for this kind kindness. Well, we'll see. We will see. Culture of war. Long ago, Heaven's Gate was a largely peaceful community nestled high in the mountains. The warriors were few, for our threats were few. Yet times change, as smoke arises from the manufacturers and weapons shops, young men march in lockstep, preparing for words they will believe will come. The loss of innocence has changed the very way we look at the world now, and how we react to it shall forever shape our nation. Embracing violence, or maybe relies on mercy, and what good are we if we become our enemies? If we give way to madness and violence, uh, war is not who we are, nor will it be uh, who we are. A bastion for good, a bastion for change. Heaven's gate shall be the heart of God's kingdom on earth. Uh, and no kingdom of God shall go forth to be butchered by those who know better. Sanctuary for all. All those who are lost may come to the gate. Those fleeing persecution, those fleeing slavery, those fleeing their conquerors, all of whom are willing to believe may find sanctuary within our walls. And in time, our home shall become their home. Our food shall become their food, and our faith shall become their faith. Versus uh, embracing violence. And what good is mercy given the faithful? If we cannot defend our people, then what good is our faith? What good are our dreams? We must learn to protect ourselves to prevent yet another tragedy. The arms of the faithful are filled with the strength of God and man. The twelfth, the tenth crusade. The crusaders are a thing of legend, for so little is known of them. It is said that the army of the faithful rose up to cast down the false prophets, to march forth and defend against the heathen masses. Man and uh, woman, grandfather and grandson, all answer to the call, prepare for the war against the enemies of God. Which sucks that we can't do that because we don't have a border with the NCR. Man... The NCR is very strong right now. They're very, 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 very strong, which is, you know, okay in some cases, but, like, I'd like to be able to take them out, too. I'm not saying they should necessarily be nerfed, but still. Keep going. Gatling guns are nice. More max entrenchment that we don't really need right now, but whatever. Uh, now I can increase more political power, optimize training. 37,000 is a lot. Are we missing anything? Power armor is looking okay. We didn't, we didn't get that far yet. Power armor. At this point, I believe it's fine to switch all completely to riders. And we got all that manpower back because the riders are quite good. Because now we're deficit, but it's going down every day, which is good. Nice. Ah, even more advanced stuff that would be nice, but whatever. Don't think they'll really be able to hold on here. Yeah, look at all that strength. Just literally just being zapped away. Just I wish we could see the casualty list, but just dropping like an insane amount. My god. That is so beautiful. I love that so much. It's one of my favorite things in Hearts of Iron. Just dropping enemy strength like crazy. Oh my god, that's disastrous for the enemy. I mean, you can fight till you die, but you, that, that's it. Like, you're gonna die then. I have to conquer every tile, huh? Reno State, huh? Cool. But I think I might end it there. This campaign, this video, has, I've not done a video this long in quite a while. But, uh, I think we've done very well as Heaven's Gate. Not perfect, but we're looking pretty thick. And that's the way I like it. So if you enjoyed the campaign, please consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day.